Spacewalk goes to the outside. Field is set to go. They are ready. Set now, and they're racing, and Star Patrol from the centre jumped away well. Not as fast as Marble 9 or Spacewalk on the outside. They share the front from Star Patrol and Jungle Jim and Who Dares, followed by Press Down Johnny Rocker. Next in the field is Charm Stone and Ray Magnerio to its outside, followed by Mahaba. It's our time as well back, and at the tail of the field is Cross Haven. So with 800 metres to go, and the front runner is Jungle Jim with Star Patrol. They're a length and a quarter in front of Press down who dares and also the outside marble nine further back is schwartz mahaba spacewalk and ray magnerio then came johnny rocker well back charm stone it's our time and also cross haven 450 meters to go and it is star patrol cuddled in front and kicked away about a length and a half in front of spacewalk and they were followed by schwartz trying to come into it then mahaba and ray magnerio is bullocking into the clear 200 meters to go mahaba goes to the front ray magnerio and Charmstone trying to get Mahaba at the 100. Mahaba a half, Ray Magnerio, Charmstone. Mahaba still in front of Ray Magnerio. They go down towards the line. Mahaba, Mahaba beat Ray Magnerio, Charmstone, then Crosshaven. Further back was Johnny Rocker. It's our time, Who Dares and Schwartz. Then Marble Nine, Spacewalk, and behind those, Press Down and Star Patrol and Last Jungle Gym. A terrific finish, but it's going to be Mahaba narrowly. Mahaba, number two, Geordie Childs will just hold on here from Ray Magnerio. It's going to be relatively tight on the line, but Mahaba has won it. Geordie Childs for Graham Begg has just won from Ray Magnerio. Jai McNeil for Robbie Griffiths and Matt DeCoe. Graham Begg joins us after Mahaba has more success up the Flemington Strait in the GH Moom Rising Fast. Graham, was this a race you'd had he marked as one of his spring targets from a while out? Yeah, look, we thought this was a race that would be very well suited to him, uh, you know, under the sort of uh, conditions of the race. He came out and ran third first up in a group two weight for age, uh, and he wasn't really ready that day. Like, he had a lot of improvement to come, uh, but we feel he's come up very, very well. What it did, it bumped his handicap right up. So he had the 57, I thought, well, he's weighted right up to his best. But look, he's trained on beautifully since and uh, still got a little bit of improvement to come. His coat's not 100% quite right yet. And uh, he was very well ridden by Jordan. He um, took the right option, took the trail and uh, was very t strong late. What would you give consideration with for him, both for now, but perhaps early into 2025? Mentioned he's got a lump weight today. Is he a longer-term prospect to maybe get down the weights in a new market? Well, you never know. Because he's, he's raced very well up the straight before. Uh, he likes firm ground. Um, you know, he's a good all-round type of horse. So, you know, there are a few decisions we ought to make. Uh, he's, look, he's entered for Perth, the winner bottom, and also the slot race over at Cranbourne. But we'll have to make some decisions. Nice choices to have. Well done, Graham. Thank you. Jordy Childs with us, gets it done on Mahaba in the JH Moom Rising Fast. Jordy, on reflection, top four have drawn one, two, four, and five. How beneficial were those inside gates, do you think, given how the track's playing and the wind? Yeah, look, I think so. Um, I think the wind's not too much of a factor down the straight. It's a bit of a tailwind, um, so you don't really feel it too much. But the track's prepared in really good order. Um, it walks the same all the way across, so I don't think it's really going to matter too much uh, where you are. Probably just the wind will come into play on the circle races. Uh, but... Yeah, to this bloke's credit, he's been going really well. We ran well first up the other day. Um, come, in, come here today with a bit of confidence and glad he can repay us. How would you articulate his improvement from three to four and now hopefully what might be a, a long career as a benchmark sprinter? I think he's just improved um, in strength and up a lot and matured uh, as well. He sort of, he's always been a nice horse, but ever since he's come back this time in, his jump outs, his track work, he's just gone to another level. Um, and obviously winning a decent race like that today on Derby Days. Definitely adds another string to his bow um, and hopefully he can keep going forward. Thanks, Jordy. Thank you.